welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you wish to donate towards my channel all the links are in the description box down below so let's get into your reading pisces pisces okay so today has been let's see if you're at work probably lots of distractions if you're at home probably lots of distractions um seeming like the time is going by really really fast and maybe you're getting caught up doing one thing or another but it's like where's my time going and what am i doing all right that's how i feel so let me know and that's how you feel because that's how i feel the time is going little owling wisdom as light as a feather all right so that's the other thing lots of information being dropped in your lap right now whether or not it be information here on a 3d information being on a 5d um finding out about things that you didn't even ask for is just being dropped in your lap also the continuous rabbit hole of just spiritual knowledge and information being dropped on you um if you are okay so there's a video that i just posted in tier three it's in the community tab uh people who are you come to tarot because it's part of the esoteric magical community but you are on a higher um learning level like trying to figure out what is important los angeles has been in my energy today and it's the first card here that is so crazy um so california being significant or, or important colorado there's a video that i just put in there um and it is about terrence howard so watch it let me know what you think about it um, there's some other stuff that I'm going to post in there right behind that. There's a video that I also want to do for tier three pertaining to not love, not normal stuff that people come to tarot for. It's actually something different. So if you're on that vibe, then apparently I'm talking to you. Airplanes, private jets, and helicopters. Significant or important, but that's what I'm looking at. So there may be travel in your energy definitely soon um colorado's on the back side of that card so it may be multiple states multiple stops multiple cities multiple places somebody saying they believe in you um the rabbit hole just continues to get deeper and deeper and longer and bigger and wider and iowa is here as well and something about idaho and a new business um wisdom is light as a feather the number's 39 somebody could be 93 mm, okay 93 years old all right so somebody's an older person in your family and that may be their age at this point in time so people may live long in your family that might be the reason somebody may have been born in 93 um somebody may be 39 years old that number nine and three goes into 12 so 12 is pisces um the little bit of fishies last but not least these also we have two plus one is three three continually keeps coming up in our reading three could also be aquarius mm, okay i don't know where i got that from but three is march which is still pisces or aries but apparently there's an aquarius in your energy not minding their business because i don't know where i got that from or where that just came from out of nowhere so an aquarius somewhere around here um march 3rd being significant or important me myself and i holy trinity father son holy spirit um and it's just so many things that that relates to um and i put it in a community tab the other day because it's so many things that it relates to so that's also in a community tab for everyone so the power of three will set us free me myself and i figuring out the duality and the union between you and yourself um god being also going back to the tree of life and all of that type of stuff so if you're in tier three this is what we about to talk about because apparently shit's about to get trippy trippy out here um we got mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflecting our wounds introspection okay so you and this person could be mirroring each other addictions codependent obsessions 
possession, controlling, has a block and a restraint. So somebody may be addicted, codependent to your energy, or somebody may just be addicted to drugs, alcohol, sex, materialistic items, that type of thing. Somebody's also heartbroken out here, deeply hurt, saddened, breaking up, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning your energy. They, why you won't come back to me, okay? Where you at though? Um, Marie Masquerade, glamour, intrigue, drama. This is larger than life. Um, also, it's giving me somebody wearing a mask. So this is giving me two separate vibes, okay? On one hand, and this is, y'all are mirroring each other in so many different ways. Um, but your person, per se, okay? So it has to be your specific person. You and your person are mirroring each other. So if you have a karmic energy in your energetic field that's basically mourning and codependent and this, that, and a third, you're not mirroring that because that's not the energy that I feel like you're in. The energy that I feel like you're in is ascension vibes, moving forward, being excited, looking towards the new. So that also means that your person, your real person, is excited, looking forward to the new. Um, if you are dealing with a karmic energy or if there's a karmic energy, because if you're watching karmic ass people, I'm talking to y'all. If you sad, mourning, missing, that means there's another karmic ass energy that's connected to you that's doing the exact same thing. So while you over there projecting, trying to get in somebody else's energetic space, somebody's trying to do the same thing to you. So you might want to cleanse your space and mind your own business. The other people done left because... I'm a Pisces that then left the building. I'm just not there. I don't have time. Not thinking about it. Don't give a damn. Okay. My new future, my life that's ahead of me is so bright. I got to wear shades and I don't know what's going to happen. It, it may be whatever it's going to be. But at the end of the day, as long as it's not what I just came from. Okay. Anything's better than that. So that's my vibe. Everything has to be new. There's nothing that's coming in my energetic field that is from my past. I got some dude that keeps trying to insert himself here like i said an old energy that came from i don't even know where the hell it came from 1902 like dude where you come from i don't respond i don't answer i don't like where you come from you said what you said i said what i said that's the end but every day is still something so it's like people trying to hold on to you by any means necessary just go go away please go with god he need a sweatshirt go with god the sweatshirts are in y'all just so y'all know go with god that might be something that people need to get sent. Give it as a gift. Go with God. Hopefully they get the message. <laughs> Go with God. Take your ass on, okay? Please, because you're not wanted nor needed here. You have a new business in your energy, Pisces. And that could be a real, like, physical brick and mortar business. It could be an online business. Or it could just be you having new business. Like what I just said. I'm off to some new shit. I'm off to better things. I'm only doing shit that's going to make me elevate. Only one people around that's going to make me better. Pull up in the... Um, what's her name? Coily Ray Her. Yes. Only one people around that's going to make me better. So somebody may be a singer or a songwriter out here, okay? Um, somebody may be attention seeking because I feel like it. I feel like it's on the board. I feel like somebody wants your attention. But meanwhile, back at band camp, you're like, uh, no, you don't belong here. Your energy is not wanted nor needed. Please go. Ain't nobody trying to murky up the field. Just go away. Um, there may be a Sagittarius here. Um, Russia is here. Oh, new business is here. Okay, so this is where that's at. Um, let me see. Let me get you some more cards. Or let me just start separating them cards. Somebody may have an initial of V, or V may stand for victory, victorious, all right? Vibrant, vibration, vivacious, vibration, um, victor, 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 Lord, Vic, what is the lady name? Victory, Vic, Victoria, you, okay? Uh, somebody may have a speech, a stutter or a stammer. So somebody's name is Victoria or Vicky. Belicia, Val, Valerie, Victor, Victor, they may call you Vic or something. Vernon. All right, whoever you are, 
um, somebody has a huge crush on you or somebody saying they have a huge crush on you, Victor or the, whoever the person with the V is initial, they might be having a crush on you. Um, somebody saying if I could turn back the time or there may be somebody just around that has a V initial. Somebody has bum behavior, which I truly definitely feel that. Um, there's a rancher around here. Um, a rancher meaning like a rancher house, but somebody may live on a ranch and you may be a rancher, okay? You may have bulls and cows and if that's the same, uh, sheep and all that other good shit. Um, somebody saying, mind your own business. <laughs> that's definitely there. Mind your business, okay? So definitely saying mind your business. Somebody's manifesting a situation here with you. All right, dodge. And all I'm hearing right now, somebody's knocking, rocking the boots, okay? So somebody's giving you major sex energy. Somebody's name may be Mercedes or they may drive a Mercedes. Um, something about if it ain't foreign, it's born. Somebody may drive a Dodge, a GMC. North Carolina's here and South Carolina's here. Somebody is totally not single. So you got a karmic energy that is totally not single, um, faking like they are and probably... Um, is lying to everybody around them saying that they're single but they have somebody um somebody saying um i fucked up so somebody fucked up a situation um and they wish they didn't um something about an old school ride here drink more water pisces pisces drink your water if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel because i don't know why so many people watch my channel but y'all are not subscribed like what's the problem are y'all stalking me too because that would make sense if you keep coming watching my videos but you're not subscribing to my channel i'm gonna have to consider you a stalker energy or a user because it's not giving reciprocation that you keep coming watching my videos but yet you're not subscribing um whatever it is we can handle it better together. Something about somebody being in different time time zones, East Coast, West Coast. So if somebody may live on the East Coast, somebody may live on the West Coast. Um, somebody thinks you're one of a kind here. Um, somebody is yearning a very strong urge to be with you. I told you somebody is also giving you sex energy. So somebody definitely is trying to get close to you. Um, let's see what else we have. Somebody's still saying I fucked up. So somebody is really in regrets over letting you go or doing whatever it is that they did to you. Um, again, you got a stranger, somebody hiding around in your energy because glamour intrigue is over the top, but it's also somebody wearing a mask. So somebody feels like or could be telling people that, you know, they don't care for you or a certain type of way. Their actions may, you know, be also doing that. But deep down inside, they really just mad because... I know a bitch that's mad, waking up sad, because they can't fuck with you. So somebody mad and they lying to themselves and everybody else around them, but subconsciously, they every day thinking about you, waking up, talking about you, thinking about you, and everything they try to do to hurt you and harm you is because they mad. Something about social media is being here is here. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, Snapchat. So somebody probably stalking you from all different types of platforms and all up in your business. Somebody saying you inspire me and somebody saying, tell me what I could do to make you happy. So somebody also wants to make you happy. Um, we got a fight here. Hold on. Let me see what the hell this is because literally somebody is oh so sad, so mad. Um, all right, let me see. I'm not taking these, but there's a fight here. Um, somebody's mad that you speak your mind say what you mean mean what you say somebody's also mad that your energy is abundant and somebody also is apparently clocking your every movement as to your growth your pro progress your healing you're moving on and apparently you could be saying the shit and don't really care how they feel or what they think they should blame their mom um again because who cares but Equal give and take being here, reciprocation is what that is, and then a tower that happens, and then juggling. So, somebody not giving equal take, equal give and take. Somebody basically wanted, or a giver and a taker. So, somebody, you know, doing the most. And why are y'all here? That's the part I don't understand. Nobody cares about your energy or your problems. All right, so the tower coming to an end but anyway somebody's mad somebody's fighting over the over also you got a two of cups at the bottom of the deck so somebody's mad about your moving on about your you know new energy that you're in they don't understand why it is why don't you care about me why don't you love me why don't you let me abuse you why don't you let me just keep doing the things that i'm doing to you and why are you trying to leave me like get out of my face 
What is the problem? People be getting what they getting and then they be so like, and why are we here? Like they, these are the type of people that I be like really trying to figure out why are you on my table? Because to me, you clearly are overstepping your boundaries because I don't want to be reading this. I don't even care. All right, let's see what else this people got to say because hopefully they just go away at some point in time because good God, I mean, Oh, they will. <laughs> you ask and you shall receive. Okay. So somebody's going through karma. All right. Somebody's going through karma for energetically fucking with you. Messing around in your business. Not minding the business that pays them. Somebody already been warned. Oh, so that was definitely a warning. Mind your business. So the warning was being given. So whoever karmic ass person, that was the that was the warning. Mind your business. So somebody going through karma um, and they're upset and they think that everything that's happening to them is because of you. So apparently the person is eventually just going to let go because, you know, towers and juggling and having to move on. But also this person is juggling other people. Don't nobody want that. So good for them and good for you. But whoever it is, somebody's juggling people. Juggling situations, trying to move stuff around, trying to hint, stop themselves from going through. Maybe they grasping for straws because apparently this tower being here, they definitely grasping for straws. Um, wisdom as light as a feather, mind your business. It's easy. Go sit your ass down. So they're leaving. Let me clean this up because I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm basically sick and tired of them. I done had enough. All right, Pisces, let's clean it up. People be wanting to insert themselves so bad. All right, we got movement here with the chariot. Um, progress, action, integration, determination, willpower, control, direction, departure, and courage. So keeping it all together. After everybody has been just getting on your nerves and trying to invade your space, you still holding it down. Ten toes, all right? Trying to figure out what you need to do, what direction you need to go in, and how you need to be moving from this point on after everything that you have just gone through dealing with these people in this situation. Whether it be family, friends, spouse, significant other, just whoever. Trying to figure out how do you move from here? What do you got to do? Uh, two of swords being here. Maybe they were trying to block your situation or you felt blocked. You don't know what to do because you're waiting to figure it out. You're waiting for a signal from God. A divine intervention. Okay, so, uh oh, okay, that flew out. And here go that two of cups. So, there's movement, no more blockages on your two of cups is what that looks like. That's two and two, 22. All right, your birthday may be February the 22nd. All right, here we go. Well, March the 7th is on the, on the board. So movement away from the block is what it looks like to me because you got movement and then there was a block and then there's your two of cups. But I already told you that somebody was trying to block your two of cups and now this person is receiving karma for being all up in your business. They was already warned. They was already told. So seeds that you have been planting. So you have been doing the work. Healing, glowing and growing. Still struggling past whatever these people been trying to do. All right, we got a fool here. So new beginnings. Definitely a fresh start. So something starting over. Possibilities, innocence, optimism, spontaneous, trusting in life, having blind faith, an adventurer, the opportunity, and here go that fight again. Here they go. <laughs> Good God. All right, let's see what the next card is. <laughs> I mean, you got to laugh. I mean, good Lord. Okay. Let me see what the next one is. <laughs> it's like I keep telling y'all, every time I see this, it gives me the vibe of a little kid that is throwing a temper, uh, temper tantrum. You try to take their toy from them, their favorite toy. <laughs> and they just, just don't want to give it up. Just standing in the middle of the floor, just kicking and screaming and feet just a going and arms. You need to whoop their ass. <laughs> That's what I be thinking. Just, just whip they ass. Uh oh, look at God stepping in. <laughs> Lord God always prevails. Huh? Look at God. Won't he do it? Okay, so still, I guess somebody always trying to find a new way of doing something, a new way to invade your energy. Wow. Okay, so 
either way, we got an ace of wands here. Past all the, the struggle and strife, pushing through. So that's another thing. They argue and they fighting, but you just push through because that's what that's giving me. A vibe of your new beginning. Keep pushing. Keep pushing them doors wide open because God's clearing, it's moving, it's shaking. A ace of wands here, new projects, inspiration, a urge to create, willpower, desire, potential, potential new beginnings, new opportunities, and growth. All right, so you moving past that. And then Empress, sitting pretty. Check it out. Um, you may be a little bit hesitant empress or you know empress doesn't have to it's, it's the energy so you could be in your em, in your empress mode right now very nurturing very caring very loving very fulfilling very abundant very blessed sitting pretty okay even though there's stuff happening there's still stuff happening so don't get it messed up so you can still be going through some stuff but you're at peace because that's what the empress looks like like she's peaceful so thinking here the hangman a pause, a surrender, a letting go, letting go and letting God, because God just showed up. God said, not mine. So why y'all fighting so hard to be all up in people's energy? You need to go mind your business, because that's what was said, and that's what needs to happen. Um, something about, didn't I say y'all Aquarius is here? Because I said Aquarius, and now Aquarius shows up. So divine masculine and then divinely guided is here. Um... So somebody's saying you will always, what the hell does this say? Somebody may drive a Lexus too, cause that's there. Um, you always know the right things to say to make me smile. God don't play about me. And somebody drives a Lexus is here, a Lexus or a Volvo. Um, I pause or surrender. So maybe just waiting, waiting for God to say go or waiting for the button to hit to say go. But there's also a King of Swords here. Um, head over heart, discipline, somebody very truthful, very honest mental clarity and i'll keep hearing partner so i don't know if your partner is a king of swords energy um that's somebody that is truthful somebody that is being honest head over heart they may be a little bit stern so i don't know if maybe i might need to pull some more cards because that's giving me a vibe that i don't like either because that's giving me like somebody might get cussed out okay let me let me let me say let me say <laughs> let me say I don't know because it's giving me the vibe like you side eyeing somebody here. You side eye this King of Swords energy real quick. That's what I did. So who's coming up a King of Swords in your energy? Is this the same old Joker trying to look a different type of way? Because the side eye was real. <laughs> Just see what I'm saying? I, I had a feeling that something ain't right. But hold on, because it might just be, again, somebody minding their business. So hold on. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Since we're here, apparently we already here. We balls deep. So let's find out. Oh, my God. Who is this? You totally gave me the side eye. So, okay, I'm going to need y'all to be very, very mindful and very, very careful because you got an energy of somebody that's trying to sneak towards you that should not. And you also have an energy of somebody that is meant to be here. So it's giving me like somebody sending a person because it's saying like somebody trying to hold you again it's another way for them to try to you know trick the situation but if you do it for yourself like say if you choose this person it's the wrong person so you got an energy of somebody that's coming towards you that is correct and then some because they're saying stand your guard stand your ground don't fall for it like literally if you can see these cards i don't know if y'all can see these cards let me push them up but it's basically saying Somebody, somebody sneaking towards you to keep you stuck. Stand your ground because there's somebody that's coming in that's wish fulfillment for you. So they still out here trying to do a different thing because this person gave me, like I literally side eye this card, like something went right because it's not giving me the vibe. When a person comes in saying, oh, I'm going to always be honest to you and I'm telling you, it's almost like you overcompensating for you get ready to be a liar. 
So it's like now trusting your intuition. You got a king of uh, pentacles at the bottom of the deck as well. Trusting your intuition because somebody is about to sneak towards you that should not be there. So more trickery, more fraud. But from what I gather, stay in your guard, stay in your ground. Meaning apparently they know that you know that it's not the right person. It's not what you should be receiving. You deserve so much more than this is what I'm hearing. So you deserve so much more than a king of swords ass energy. So... And then you got several night ass energies also coming in too. So let's see. Justice being balanced. Things coming in. So the, the, the tides is being turned, but they're going to need you to have some discernment here because it's an illusion and a trick. Somebody's trying to trick you and accepting an offer from someone that is not your equal, that is not your counterpart. They're playing on your, uh, like maybe this person watches you because like I said, social media and stuff being there. They're trying to play on like things that they have learned about you. Either way, um, I'm getting a feeling like you know because this is 818. Like that's the synchronicity and sign here. So if you look that up, it's probably going to tell you what it is that they're basically saying for you because I'm probably going to look it up after this reading is over. But that's the sign. Um... But also, it's giving me something else, too. Okay, so. All right. Um, I think that's it. Because I hear that's it. That's it. That's all. That's the information. Um, this, look this up, 818. But. I don't know how to say this. Because it's almost like a person coming to you. But this person is moving around at nighttime. Like, under the guise of. So this person might show up at an unexpected time but it's giving me the vibe like the strip person showing up at night time then you got an ace of cups and a page of cups that's definitely an offer like a emotional thing love compassion creativity new feelings so the same exact vibe but one it's new it's fresh it's young so somebody's coming towards you ahead of time. It's not the right person. It's basically somebody, a, a clone, a, a, somebody that's trying to mimic your person's energy. Um, a divine masculine is here. God don't play about you. Somebody's divinely got it and being led towards you. Um, there's a private investigator out here. So somebody has totally been looking into you. Um, all this is giving you high blood pressure. So somebody is on edge. Um, God loves you. Somebody may drive a BMW or a Porsche. A glam squad is there. Something about a boss bitch. Alaska and New Mexico is there. Private investigators right there. Um, Wisconsin is significant or important. A Range Rover, a Land Rover. Um, something about a secret handshake. West Virginia or Virginia is there. Right there. Um... What's done in the dark is going to come to light. So somebody's being exposed for what they have been doing. This football player has been here for a while. So there's a football player somewhere around here. NFL. But football player could also be like, because if it's foreign, that would be like a soccer player. So maybe this person plays sports or it could be a person that is really professional in sports. Somebody's initial may be R. Um, something about cryptocurrency. This person may invest in crypto cryptocurrency. Something about somebody being Cuban. Um, or you like Cubans, Cuban could be a sandwich. Somebody's initials are B. Blake, Bailey, Bell, Beatrice, Bennett, Benjamin, Brianna, Brady, Bonnie, Bella, Barbara, Bryce, Bentley, Brooke, Baxter, Beckett, uh, Beatrice. But somebody also drives a Bentley is what I'm hearing. Um, something about they want you to be their best friend. Atlanta is here. Um, somebody with a platform or a social uh, media influencer is significant or important. Something about a new state. Um, and somebody saying, I want this forever. So Atlanta and Michigan is there. Um, somebody's trying to come into your energy, lying and cheating and stealing, basically. So whoever this person is, um, they talk they talk real good, but the lying. Lying like a motherfucker. Lying through their teeth, okay? Um, what was I going to say? So... Damn, just that quick. Somebody may live in a mini mansion and somebody's saying they're so attracted to you. This person could be between the ages of 35 and 44. Um, 
something about a videographer so something about videos oh i was gonna say something about social media so it says somebody with a platform that's there so somebody with a platform if you're on like one of the social it, it could also be on your uh youtube because you watch me on youtube so if somebody likes your youtube all and all of a sudden you're getting a subscriber and you're not even a person that does videos or something like that but now the person subscribes to your channel um that person or if you have youtube uh instagram and all of a sudden a person starts liking all your damn pictures that person like i don't know where today um because and you like tiktok same exact thing it's like love bombing a person love bombing you and basically you don't even know who the hell it is so now somewhere out of nowhere um, if you don't follow my Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's Golden Girl 302 as well. But now somebody is uh, liking all my pictures and doing a whole bunch of stuff on Instagram, trying to get themselves noticed. And then they ended up sending like eyes or something in my inbox. Like I, I'm not responding because I don't know who you are and I don't care to talk to you. So at this point, that's what's happening. But because I don't get why people do that. If you got something to say, say it. So, um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it is at Golden Girl 302, G O L D E N G U R L 302. Um, you can follow me there. All my social media is at Golden Girl 302. My TikTok, my Instagram, my uh, everything. And so I post on there a lot because, again, I'm doing content creative right now. So that's what's happening. But I'm getting a lot of weirdness where people are just coming out of nowhere and then they they start acting like they want to talk but i'm not going to talk to you because if you want to talk then make a statement a sentence not sending eyes and freaking love bombing all my pictures and all that that's a red flag immediately red flag you don't belong here who sent you so pisces this is the reading hopefully it helps thank you guys for coming to my channel and just so y'all know new business is still here even after i just put them cards together so somebody's definitely getting a new business a new business investment is here okay so love you guys thank you guys for coming to my channel and go with god